young team, right. you know, with a lot of new players, and so still trying to figure out how to play together and, and all of that. Um, we have yet to put together four good quarters, right. and I feel like when we do, this team is going to be really special and hard to beat. Um, we beat Concordia in three quarters. And then, obviously, the second quarter was a disaster. Um, and part of that was my fault. We changed up our defense, and they hit three threes on us before we could get out of it and, and all that. We had a lot of turnovers. We've been trying to change up a little bit of our offense to get us a little more attacking. And you could tell there were some bumps in the road there. Um, but I'm excited about where that's headed. I think that's going to be a really good thing for us once we get some more experience with it and time on the floor with it. But uh, we're definitely right there. You know, we had them within three with just a minute and a half to go and then obviously had to foul and uh, that made the game a little bit further out but I'm proud of the girls they fought so hard they played with great enthusiasm and uh, an effort so I'm, I'm proud of the effort we've got to put four quarters together though you now this was a great game for Angelica because you know she was a JUCO All-American and she scored 1,500 points in two years at the Duco level, recruited her to Utah State, and uh, knew that she was that, that special player that can play inside and out. But she's an incredible passer, too. She just has a knack for the game. And so uh, being able to, she just was plagued with injuries at Utah State, and then we were able to get her fifth year here, and uh, she was recovering from her ACL, played her first games last weekend, so limited minutes, and hadn't really even practiced with us yet. And uh, for her to come out and to just play in 21 minutes and get 22 minutes and play so uh, efficiently, and it's her game, you know? She plays with enthusiasm and swag, and that's exactly what we needed, and I'm so proud of her because she's fought through so much and for her to be able to get this um, and have that confidence going into the rest of our games, I, I couldn't be happier for someone like that to get a game like this.